News 46 is brought to you in part by... You can donate a car, you can donate a bike, you can donate an ottoman if you really like. You can donate a picture, you can donate a chair, you can donate the clothes that you hardly ever wear. Salvation Army. You can buy the brand names that you really do like. Buy a car, buy an ottoman, you can buy a bike, you can buy a pretty picture, you can hang it on the wall, buy stuff that you never would find at the malls. Salvation Army. And the money from the sales of the stuff that you buy could help somebody get a whole new life. Salvation Army will do what's best. You donate, we'll do the rest. Salvation Army. Call 727 727- Six one one one. We're here off Prospector and Murphy where just the horrific incident occurred, a structure fire. We're going to let you know about that, but first, Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue arrived on scene. All hands were on deck for this, as well as Nye County Sheriff's Deputies, even Sheriff Tony DeMeo and Town Manager Bill Kohlbarger all arrived on scene here for a rescue. There was one person pulled from the fire scene and on the ground when we arrived and the bodies just seem to keep coming out. I can tell you that at least three children have been transported at this time. One female was dead on scene. We're going to let you know a little bit more about that, but we're going to speak to David Taylor, who is first on scene here. I was at my house next door and uh, looked out the window and there was fire and smoke so I immediately ran over there and did what I could to help, grabbed a water hose and, and then started breaking windows to pull the children out. I guess the mother was running around telling us where the children was at so I went over there and started breaking windows out and I helped the firefighters to locate the children that were in the in, inside. So the mother was on the outside of the house. Do you think that she was at home at that time? Yeah, she was at home while it happened. And she was all bloody and cut up like she came out the window. So and by the time I got here, she was running around and stuff. And I broke the windows looking, helping her to look for her children. So how many people actually live in this home? I believe there's four children and two adults. And so how old do you think the kids are? I would say the the children that I, I, I helped rescue were between the ages of two to four. And how many kids did you bring out? I brought out one. I helped a firefighter bring out one. I located them inside and then I helped them bring them out. And there's another resident that lives in here besides uh... yeah, There was a, a, a grown adult that I found in the back room where I, also a firefighter helped me pull her out too. And what were the conditions of the kids that you saw? Um, not breathing. I, I'm not sure if they made it or not. And then the female? The female, I, I don't, I'm not sure with her either. And um, so there's a total of three adults that live here and four children or two adults? I believe it's three adults and three or four children. And I want two adults are here at the time. And then can you tell me any other information that happened? Um, other than that, when the firefighters got here, I helped them with the hoses and, and, uh, and that was about it. I see that you got yourself cut up and burnt a little bit too. Yeah, I would, that was helping them break out the windows and get the other children out of the windows and stuff. Where did the fire first originate from? I would say the living room. I don't know, but when I looked out my window, it was already engulfed in flames, so I'm not sure. Do you think that they were alert? Um, I believe the children were probably sleeping, or they were definitely not alert, I don't believe. And I have this to report that this is Chad Broadhead, who owns Prompt Valley Speedway's grandchildren, his son Anthony, and his children. They have all been transported locally here, and as well as Mercy Air has airlifted some of them. This is Deanna O'Donnell on Prospector and Murphy for News 46.